Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the podcast. And today, I'm going to go my review of Friday Night SmackDown. Starting off the night, we had the Bloodline. Bloodline entered the arena. Next thing you know, they attack Apollo Crews backstage. Looks like they were upset about losing their matchup at Survivor Series against Roman Reigns' Bloodline. Moving on from that, we have a Cody Rhodes segment. Rhodes talks about Saturday Night's main event. Rhodes then talks about Owens. The American Maid is here. Gable gets in the ring. Gable says that Aldis made a call to bring him to SmackDown. Gable then mocks Rhodes. Gable then says Rhodes is a horrible friend. Rhodes then mocks Gable by calling him Shorty G. Rhodes says that he used to be known as, a, as Stardust. Rhodes then talks about American Maid, and then Rhodes tells Gable that it should be him versus Gable tonight. After that, Michael Cole talks about the transfer window of talent that might be switched up from Raw, NXT, and SmackDown, which I will talk about towards the end of the podcast. Moving on from that, we go into our official, first official match of the night. It's a U.S. Women's Tournament matchup. It is Naomi versus Tiffany Stratton versus Elektra. I thought it was a good match, man. It was a back-and-forth matchup between Naomi, Stratton, and Elektra. With Naomi keeping the pace of the match, Elektra then hits a blue thunder bomb for a near fall. Naomi then hits a rear view on Tiffany Stratton. Candice LeRae is here. Tiffany Stratton hits a moonsault, pins for the three, and your winner of the match moving on in the tournament is Tiffany Stratton. After the match, it was shown backstage that the Street Profits were attacked backstage, and the Street Profits were out of their tag team title match, and DIY would replace the Street Profits against the Motor City Machine Guns for the tag team titles. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It's Piper Nevin taking on Bianca Belair. I thought it was a good match. Back and forth matchup between Nevin and Belair with Nevin keeping the pace of the match. Belair then hits a spear for a near fall, but Nev uh, Nevin hits a power bomb for a near fall. But Belair hits her signature KOD on Nevin, pins for the three, and your winner of the match is Bianca Belair. Hats off to Bianca Belair for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we have a Shinsuke Nakamura segment. Nakamura comes out to the ring, but he's quickly interrupted by L.A. Knight. Knight has a microphone. Knight mocks Nakamura. Knight wants his, he said he wants his rematch back for his belt. Andrade is here. And then all of a sudden, Tama Tonga attacks Andrade ringside. Fatu then attacks L.A. Knight in the ring. Solo Sokoa is here. He hits a spike on Andrade and L.A. Knight. Solo then grabs a microphone says the bloodline are not done. And Solo says that he's still the tribal chief. Moving on from that, we have a tag team title matchup. It is DIY taking on the Motor City Machine Guns. I thought it was a good match, man. Back and forth matchup between DIY and the Motor City Machine Guns with the Motor City Machine Guns keeping the pace of the match. Gargano then pushes Champa in the middle of the ring. Champa says that DIY is done, but Gargano hits a low blow. The crowd erupts. But then DIY hit the finish on the Motor City Machine Guns, pins for the three, and your winners of the match and new tag team champions are DIY. It looks like Johnny Gargano turned heel with Tommaso Champa. Moving on from that, we have a Kevin Owens segment. Michael Cole meets Kevin Owens outside in Kevin Owens' rental car. Owens talks about Roman and what Roman has done to Kevin Owens. He also mentions the bloodline as well. Owens seems to be jealous of Cody Rhodes. Owens says that Rhodes betrayed him. And then Cole says that Owens is the one who is the problem. And after that, Kevin Owens kicks Michael Cole out of his rental car. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It's a main event of Friday Night SmackDown. It is Chad Gable taking on Cody Rhodes. I thought it was a good match, man. Back and forth matchup between Gable and Rhodes with Rhodes keeping the pace of the match. But Gable applies an ankle lock. Gable then hits a diving headbutt for a near fall. Rhodes and Gable both exchange in the middle of the ring with Rhodes hitting a power slam on Gable in the middle of the ring. Rhodes then hits a disaster kick off the ropes as well as a cutter. Gable then applies another ankle lock but the hold is broken. Rhodes then hits a crossroads on Chad Gable. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Cody Rhodes. After the match, you can see Kevin Owens in the ring, and Owens attacks Road, leading up to their match at Saturday night's main event. A couple of things I want to talk about, man, what pertains to Friday Night SmackDown before I get the hell up out of here. To be honest with y'all, man, there's really not much bad I could say about SmackDown or Raw, man. I think SmackDown or Raw has been hitting on all levels, in my honest opinion. The stories have been great. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Saturday night's main event. I also found out that Jesse the Body Ventura, now... He will also be on the announced team, a part of this show. He was a he was a part of the original Saturday night's main event. He will be a part of this show this Saturday night. I'm definitely looking forward to that. 
and I think it's going to be a great show. I think the, the entire card is stacked from top to bottom. Definitely looking forward to that. And I think we're going to, I think the event's going to be awesome. I think Saturday Night's main event is one of those shows that, you know, for me as a fan, it definitely brings back nostalgia for me, uh, to be honest with y'all. You know, obviously, you know, Saturday Night's main event's been around since the mid 80s, the late 80s. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, but I think all in all, man, I think, you know, the thing with SmackDown that gets me is the same thing with Monday Night Raw. The stories have been great, whether it's the Bloodline storyline, now you have Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens, which I think that match is going to be an absolute banger at Saturday night's main event. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, we also have the tournament for the U.S. Women's Title Tournament as well as the Intercontinental Women's Title Tournament. Um, and I believe the U.S. Women's Title Tournament, the finals will take place at Saturday night's main event, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I think it's a great thing for the women on the main roster to have another title to kind of, you know, give them more TV time. And, you know, I think they deserve it, man. You know, the women have been, you know, pretty much killing it right now in the main roster. So I'm all for it. I'm definitely excited for that matchup. And I'm excited for Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens at uh, Saturday night's main event. Um, I think there's a triple threat match too as well for the Royal Heavyweight title, which I will talk about when I do my Raw review. Um, but all in all, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for Saturday night's main event. I think, you know, right now with what WWE is doing, they're firing all main rosters. Uh, all, all, you know, with both Raw and SmackDown. And for Saturday Night's main event, I also found out that it's not going to be a one-off. I think there was another one announced um, in January, another Saturday Night's main event. So it looks like the Saturday Night's main event is going to be back in the rotation uh, for the foreseeable future and for WWE. So I'm definitely excited for that. And I'm excited for the uh, the first show back for Saturday Night's main event. We're going to have Jesse the Body Ventura, like I mentioned earlier, on the announced team. Um, for this event, he was there for the original first ever Saturday Night's Main Event on the uh, commentary team, so I'm definitely excited to see that as well. So I think everything's shaping up, man. I think Raw SmackDown's doing great things. I think, you know, the stories are definitely hitting for me personally, and uh, I'm definitely excited for Saturday Night's Main Event. But with that being said, this is my review of Friday Night SmackDown. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful, and remember, stay classic. Peace.